Welcome back. Today we're getting a brand new look at the ongoing cleanup process in Jacksboro. This is almost a year now since that EF3 tornado that you saw there damaged dozens of homes and a couple of schools in the area. Our Alexis Wainwright has spent the day in Jacksboro, uh, Jacksboro talking to everybody there, hearing how the community is still recovering, but also gauging the progress that is being made. It was just a, it was unbelievable the amount of debris that was scattered across the, the gym floor. Jacksboro ISD Superintendent Brad Burnett is giving us a tour of Jacksboro High School as repairs continue. Uh, I don't know that you can ever imagine the, the uh, extent of damage that, that we sustained. An EF3 tornado destroyed the elementary gym and ripped the roof off of the high school gym. Their agricultural classrooms and football field were torn apart. Actually, the wind peeled, started peeling the roof up, and when the roof came up, then that wall uh, actually collapsed inward. It took five weeks before elementary students could go back to their original classrooms, and a year later, there's still so much work to do. I'm anticipating at least another year, year and a half of reconstruction. Uh, timeline on our elementary gymnasium uh, is it's scheduled to be completed in December of this year. Burnett says construction on this high school gym is going to be a little bit more complicated. Because they're going to have to do some more demolition to do some structural repairs before they actually start the, the reconstruction process. And so that's going to take about 18 months. Burnett says that all of this work has a $20 million price tag. He hopes to wrap up things soon, but supply chain issues for items like steel is making things take a lot longer. He says he hopes to have games here in 2024, but right now they will continue to play at the middle school. In Jacksboro, Alexis Wainwright, CBS News, Texas.